The Denver airport has a lot of achievements under its belt besides being one of the strangest airports in the country. The airport has six total runways, making it the third largest airport in the way of runways. It is also the second largest airport in the world based on the total size of the airport and is second only to the King Fahd International Airport of Saudi Arabia. The Denver airport has been voted North America's best regional airport and the fifth best regional airport in the world. One of the first things you will notice about the Denver airport is the huge blue horse out front of the airport. This sculpture was made by the famous architect Luis Jimenez and most of his sculptures can be found all around the United States including this large blue steed. A few other of Jimenez's sculptures include the Baquero located in Houston's Moody Park and the Man on Fire sculpture which can be found in the Smithsonian in Washington DC. However, this large sculpture is known as the Big Blue Mustang. It is an eerie sculpture that welcomes people into the airport. In the post 14th century era, a group of stonemasons created an organization known as the Freemasons. They are a prestigious group and it is very hard to join. Only a few presidents were ever inducted into the club, including George Washington. So what does this have to do with Denver Airport? The Freemasons insignia can be found in parts of the airport. Does this mean that the airport has ties to the Freemasons, or is it simply a coincidence? Many have taken the conspiracy theories that are connected to the Denver airport a little too far, and this includes what is revealed about the airport when you see it from a bird's eye view. Certain parts of the airport form dark symbols from the world's history. While this is most likely just a coincidence, many have taken this to mean something deeper within the airport. With the rumors of the airport being connected to the Illuminati and secret tunnels underneath the airport, is it such a stretch that the airport would try and sneak some dark symbols in its architecture? No other airport in the world has as much art on its walls than the Denver airport. The art in the Denver airport is very impressive and it covers most of the airport. There are paintings on the walls as you walk to your flight, there are also paintings everywhere else. If you look up on the ceiling, you'll likely to see some art. If you look down, you'll likely to see some art along the floor beneath your feet. The official Denver Airport website classifies the art into three different categories. The current exhibits, the past exhibits, and the collection, which is still there. Much of the imagery in these paintings depicts strange things that many people think are tied to dark things. Or maybe they're just unique paintings. Usually, when you go to baggage claim, you have to wait a while for your baggage to come off the plane and into the baggage claim area. Usually, there are seats and sometimes TVs to help pass the time. However, at the Denver airport, they took it a bit further and added some more of their unique art into the baggage claim area. There are large gargoyles that watch over the baggage claims at the east and west side of the airport. These gargoyles are said to watch over the travelers and ensure their luggage is retrieved successfully. Many airports are starting to adopt larger shopping areas in their airports as it is becoming a top contributor to airport income. However, the Denver airport takes it to a whole new level and has added a large shopping district to the airport. Similar to other airports that have large food courts, the Denver airport has large areas where people can shop. These shopping areas can be found near gates A, B, and C in the Jeppesen Terminal. 
you can find a wide variety of shops including bookstores, restaurants, and electronic stores to name a few. As mentioned before, the Denver Airport is no stranger to the art inside the airport walls. While much of the art in the Denver Airport is harmless, the large murals that are painted across large walls ha have guests worried and a little creeped out. The large murals depict strange imagery similar to some of the paintings found throughout the airport. The main artist of these murals is Leo Tanguma who has a strong progressive social influence which can be seen throughout his art in the airport. So why did the airport contract him for the paintings? Denver is known as a place to participate in winter outdoor activities such as ice skating. Well, if you are traveling to or from the Denver airport, then you can still enjoy the activity of skating as the airport has dedicated sections set up for an ice rink. The ice rink is open for 12 hours a day and is completely free of charge. If you are traveling for the holidays and want to get into the holiday spirit, then this can be the perfect opportunity for that while you are waiting for your next flight. As mentioned before, there are several different art categories in the Denver Airport. One of these categories was the Permanent Art Collection category, which is a category in which the art will remain in the airport forever. The Permanent Collection category has 31 subcategories all to itself. That will give you a good idea as to how much art is actually in the Denver Airport. These paintings are much less creepy than the aforementioned murals and usually depict a story in them from the artists. This can be a great pass of time while waiting for your next flight. Many people believe that there is a large interconnecting set of tunnels and bunkers underneath the Denver airport. Not only that, but many believe that the largest underground bunker in the world is located underneath the airport. This would make sense as the Denver Airport is one of the largest airports in the world and covers a large portion of land. While no one can confirm the existence of the largest bunker in the world, there is definitely connecting tunnels under the airport for staff. Some of the art in the Denver Airport was only on display for a short amount of time. The Denver Airport quickly began growing its art department and had to retire some of its older artwork to make room for the newer works. There are over 50 different unique art exhibits that have already been retired from the Denver Airport. Some of these old art exhibits can still be seen in the airport in the past exhibits section of the airport. Journey through time and see the amazing art that could fill several art museums. There is a strange stone slab located in the Denver airport that represents a time capsule that is supposed to be opened in the year 2094. The markings on the slab of stone are that of the Freemasons and it has made many that much more curious to find out what is inside the time capsule. Many have asked the airport personnel what is up with the time capsule and they have responded with, you'll have to wait to find out. For many, that wait is too long but the mystery is still up in the air. The airport can be a very stressful place for many, and that is why the Denver Airport has attempted to make people's travels a bit easier by enlisting the help of a few furry friends. What is more stress relieving than seeing a cute dog or cat and petting it? There is a long list of volunteers who allow people to pet and cuddle their pets for stress and relief during the airport experience. This program is called CATS and stands for Canine Airport Therapy Squad. These therapy pets can quickly change your attitude about your airport experience.
As mentioned before, the Denver airport is fairly large, making people speculate that there is a large bunker underneath. The King Fahd International Airport in Saudi Arabia is the only airport that can stand up to the sheer size of Denver Airport, reaching 77,600 acres of land. Denver Airport is closer to 13,571 acres. While this number may seem like a large difference, it still shows how large the Denver Airport is, making it the largest U.S. airport. Why the Denver Airport is so large is a question that has fed the fire behind many conspiracy theories around what lies under the airport.